everyone, it's the Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of Illuminati Media Expos. In today's video, I wanted to share this awesome expose that was done by Good Fight Ministries on the topic of Gnosticism. The reason that I wanted to share this in my Illuminati Media Expos series is because this is a video series I've dedicated to exposing Satan's agenda to use his foot soldiers, his little puppets and peons here on planet Earth, the Illuminati, in order to brainwash and condition the masses into accepting a form of spirituality that is Luciferian and Gnostic because this will prepare the way for the Antichrist and his beast system here in the end days. Russell Crowe's popular film Noah is not only wildly inaccurate and has virtually nothing to do with the biblical story of Noah, the Ark, the Great Flood, etc., but the movie is actually a cleverly designed piece of Illuminati Gnostic Kabbalah propaganda designed to pave the path for the coming day when the elite Illuminati will literally announce that they worship Lucifer, Satan, and herald in the arrival of the Antichrist. Oh, you think that's just something that you would see on a conspiracy YouTube channel or a conspiracy website? What have become known as occult symbols or occult uh, symbolic rituals have appeared more and more in mainstream society. And of course, the word occult just means hidden. It's hidden knowledge. But in the sense that it's used most times in you know everyday life, it's used in the context of the negative use of hidden knowledge. In fact, when you come to the church and organizations like that, they seem to think that all hidden knowledge is, is bad, is evil. It's not. Knowledge is just knowledge. It's like a microphone. A microphone is not uh, positive, negative, good or bad. It's how you use it. Same with the printing press, same with hidden knowledge, which has become known as the occult. But the, the fact does remain that it is clear to people like me who've researched this ongoing for a long time, that we are seeing the normalization of the negative use of occult knowledge. Uh, we're seeing it with the way that Halloween has become more and more like a, a mini Christmas where uh, kids go out with their trick and treat and it's all uh, fun and all, all that. But the, the, the Halloween um, trick or treat type experience is, is Satanism light. I mean, that people might find that extreme, but it's not because... At the same time as those uh, kids are trick and treating and, and, and going around dressed as, as, as witches or ghosts or whatever, in the hidden world, staggering numbers of children and others are being sacrificed by Satanists and crazies. I saw it on PBS. They did 24 hour broadcast. Uh, from the Great Pyramid, and they had all this weird rituals going on, and uh, they, they dialed to French TV and, and a national concert there where the guy in French was saying, oh, Lucifer, we love you. And I'm sitting there watching this as they went around the world on PBS, and I was taping it, and back then it was myself, my wife, uh, and uh, maybe one other crew member, and I never even had time to edit it, get it off the VHS or air it. Somebody... At a PBS station has that 24-hour broadcast with, I mean, weird devil worship right on television. I mean, it was bizarre.